Hello, and welcome to the Truth Daily Devo, where we strengthen and encourage believers through a consistent and faithful engagement with Scripture. I'm Tracy Dunlap, a co-founder of Truth Fellowship Community Church in Panama City Beach, Florida, where my husband Damien is the lead pastor. And I want to thank you for joining us today. Being in this world, but not of this world, can almost guarantee that we're going to have a run-in with a foolish person. You know the type of people the Bible says can never admit when they're wrong, they're lazy, and don't want to be accountable to anyone. Well, when we do run into these types of people, we will need to know how to handle them. Today's passage of scripture helps us with that. Proverbs chapter 26, verses 1 through 8, New Living Translation. Honor is no more associated with fools than snow with summer or rain with harvest. Like a fluttering sparrow or a darting swallow, an undeserved curse will not land on its intended victim. Guide a horse with a whip, a donkey with a bridle, and a fool with a rod to his back. Don't answer the foolish arguments of fools, or you will become as foolish as they are. Be sure to answer the foolish arguments of fools, or they will become wise in their own estimation. Trusting a fool to convey a message is like cutting off one's feet or drinking poison. A proverb in the mouth of a fool is as useless as a paralyzed leg. Honoring a fool is as foolish as tying a stone to a slingshot. Don't look up to fools. It's silly to think that there's anything admirable about them. Of course, foolish people will be angry that you don't approve of them and might even try to curse you or wish bad things for you but it won't happen. Unfortunately, they will need hard lessons in life to learn that they must turn from their foolish living. Don't be tempted to get down to their level to try to prove them wrong, because then you'll be no different than they are. However, fools need to be addressed in a way so they can be humbled and perhaps see the error of their ways. Until then, until they learn, don't trust them. They have no wisdom. They deserve no honor. So when we see people who think they are so wise and think they have achieved great things, yet you can tell they only worship themselves and refuse to submit to God, let's remember what the word tells us about dealing with them. There's no need to argue with people like that. They might try to flip the script and predict bad things for you, but ignore it. We must allow Holy Spirit to speak through us and address these types of people in a way that offers truth and love while bringing them to a place of humility. And only God can give us those kinds of words in the right moment. Living according to God's word may not make us the most popular, but it is the most satisfying way to live with the greatest benefits. Let's pray. Father God, teach us how to deal with foolish people. When we encounter them or when they come up to us and start talking foolish things, give us a self-control not to go down to their level. Rather, show us what to say and how to say it. In those moments, help us not to be so tempted to prove fools wrong that we miss the opportunity to share truth and love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you again for joining us, and we look forward to continuing this journey through Scripture each weekday. Have a great day, y'all. God bless.